acrylic render on this one, charcoal color. I'm going to give you a couple of clips of it being done and the processes beforehand. So before you apply any acrylic render, all your preparation has to be done first. And previous, this wall has been scratched and then rubbed up. And previous there you just seen using the Rafina serrated feather edge to help it dry out some. And then the job, after it's been all rubbed up, had been primed previous. The thin coat render, acrylic render, and this one's from k -Rand, so we'll get into that now. So here I'm applying the acrylic render, thin coat render, it's a silicone render, and the stuff wants to go on real, real, real thin, and that was, I just let this listen to sound alone there um, as you can see how much I'm spreading it and trying to take it back off again so the idea is to have this stuff on 0.5 of a mil and that allows you to be able to finish it very quickly and there's lots of do's and don'ts with acrylic render um, one being rain and the other one being too hot and too windy uh, it won't like the rain especially this coloured one here, this is a charcoal colour. You can actually see when I'm coating it on that the background, the primer, is a charcoal colour also. Um, so they've stained the primer in. Usually, any ones I've done, the primer is always white, but in this occasion, it actually has the pigment in it as well. The charcoal colour pigment in the, the acrylic primer. And you know, I think it's because it's a darker colour that they've opted to, to stain the primer. But yes, with this stuff, I tend to think that you got to move fast. And you want to get all your joints coated again quickly. So, it's not too bad on this. Just just really trying to get it on as quick as I can and get the top finished. So then I can coat my joint across as it's almost it's very similar to dry dice in the fact that you wanna keep your joint wet as you're, you're finishing and as you're going and the way I do it as well is I don't do a wet corner as by the time you get around there you get stuck to tear a corner some guys might have picked it up easier but I don't know I don't know any plasters that will do a wet edge with this stuff unless it's a small edge you can get right round it quickly um, but if you just know any tricks on that, definitely hit me up in the, the comments. The guys I, I learned this acrylic off, um, who basically taught me how to do it, picked it up very quickly. I think most spreads, most renders, um, even blasters will, will pick up acrylic pretty pretty fast. But the guys were doing that were, were very, very good on, on it. Um, so, a bit of a shout out to them two lads. And um, as did 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 have the opportunity to learn it with Thamens, which was good. And most times we were doing creams and off yellows and chalk colours. Some very very fancy big houses and stuff. And from the very first time I used it I thought it was a brilliant finish. Mostly used Weber. This product is a K Rand product. So I did find this a wee bit tighter to spread on the arms. Uh, I know people put water and stuff in it but I just mix it up and get it loose that way. Just make sure, scrape the edges of the buckets and get all the pigment mixed through. Also the bottom, try to make the drill hit the bottom so that it brings up the dye as well up into the render. So plenty plenty to learn about this stuff but once, once you have it, I think you've got it for life. The next issue you would have would be any big areas. You will need to have a mate who can help you because if you're doing like a big gable you're going to almost want two guys spreading the top and one one spreading with them but one able to jump down quickly and just fly along the whole joint and um, maybe two falls right along the joint so that the two guys above can finish and then drop down 
and you find you will have to get into a system very quickly when it comes to that so definitely bear that in mind anything big you're going to try and take on uh, but smaller stuff you know you will be capable enough to do it all that being said it might look easy but i'm actually working very hard in this video i'm putting a lot a lot of pressure into this if you listen to the noises you will hear you'll hear me cutting it off so basically when you put it on you're, you're trying to get the child to cut it all back off again it's also quite an expensive product and i'll give you some up close shots of how i finish it also gonna finish this section shortly as like i say you don't have much time when it's on the wall it's kind of i would say this stuff it tightens quickly when it's all spread nice and thin but doesn't set quickly not sure if anybody will really understand that people who use monocuse renders will will understand that it does tend to when it's spread it'll tighten but it won't set solid so the problem with that is that it almost tightens to a point where it's not workable on the wall anymore which means that you gotta get them joints in because if your top half starts to go and then you're putting fresh stuff up what will happen is the top half of the joint will start tearing and ripping it's obviously like i said it's a silicone based render so don't know if anybody ever does any silicone diy around the house um, you might have a bit of an idea what i'm talking about with silicone when, it, when silicone wants to not go the way you intend it to go it will go really bad very quickly and thank god i haven't ever lost a wall of this stuff yet and hopefully never do but it wouldn't be something that i think would be a cheap fix as you'll have to let it set prime it and possibly go again or try and scrape it all back off but i don't think anybody could scrape that stuff back off when it's spread so thin so on to the finishing you can actually finish this stuff with a clean steel trowel but I find with a plastic trowel you get to finish it far quicker and a wee bit earlier if you were doing something you shouldn't be going heavy with this it's a thin coat render like I said kind of wants to be on half a mil thick so that tells you a lot about it and believe me the grains of sand in it will really test your arms when you're trying to go thin even rubbing it here is a wee bit tiresome um, now the other refina plas plastic trowel is a bit lighter on the arms but this one was more broken so I started off with, with the plasi flex and I had previously done when I first sort of used the plastic trowel myself always used the finish with the steel um, and the first time I used plastic on it the finish was night and day quicker better pulled it in better just everything about it was better so like i say you can't finish it with a good clean steel trowel but the plastic trowels much much, much nicer much quicker and um, save yourself a lot of hassle and just take my advice at this point of this video and um, so again the other important thing is to after you get it done to quickly wash everything um, and being very careful not to drip water on your color coat as it will it will show off streaky marks Here's a nice wee angle on it. The sun actually come across it at this point. And you can sort of see the textured render.
on the last week's section now. It's always nice to get to the end. Um, definitely when you're using this, you will you feel a good burn in your arms. If if you don't, you're not doing it right. <laughs> it's a bit like lifting weights or doing any exercise. If you don't feel the burn, you mustn't be doing it right. And this stuff will will definitely stretch your arms out a bit, as it's it's not the easiest to scrape on and you really do have to open up the trowel and cut and cut at it and try your best to almost take it back off again but believe me it's that sticky and uh, you'll find it very very difficult to get it off the wall even if you were trying to so same goes for your hands you should always wear gloves and um, every time i sort of use it i tend to forget that so simple wee thing is to wear gloves with this stuff um, again as well wear older clothes I actually have an old jumper I keep for k rent wet dice and acrylic that you know it's just, just one basically ready to throw away after a couple more goes but again kind of wearing, wearing a jumper that I shouldn't have been wearing didn't want to get it stinking so bear all them things in mind and like I said earlier on the video make sure you clean up things as you go this stuff when it's thin and squished about it will tend to want to stain and mark very quickly um, so the leg of the driveway if the tarmac or the concrete the patio the brick pavers is being kept be prepared to cover them up and also clean up at the end so anything that does spill try and get it cleaned instantly if you notice it get it cleaned instantly again maybe hard when you're coating on so maybe maybe have some more hands on deck some help some labors or more plasters more hands the better when it comes to the likes of color coating and like i say loads of things can go wrong with it and um, so having extra hands will, will won't be a burden to you so like i say if there's anything you just want to ask or know um i do know a wee bit about acrylic so we'll be able to answer you also on that Um get a wee clip at the end here of the job all finished up as well so you know i've been told this is the future of plastering of rendering and it has got quite popular and i do know quite a lot of guys that do do it not very regular but it does seem to have got a lot more popular than when it first came out it's still as expensive so i'm not sure sometimes that might put some people off using it me personally do i think it's that wee bit of a step up from just sand cement it, it has a slight texture on it and you can there's different grades of sand basically in the in the different types of buckets that you select the different slight different texture so obviously you can get a finer finish and you can get a bit bit of a coarser finish this would be one of the more coarse ones and i do think it looks looks pretty nice um even up close as well like right up close pretty uniform and pretty good so let me know your thoughts guys do you think it's going to take over you think all houses are going to be wrapped in silicone? Let me know. I think that this color really, really does suit, and and do really think it looks well when it's all finished up. But let me know your thoughts. And again, if you're new and you haven't subscribed, and um, I'd love it if you subscribe and help the channel out a bit. It uh, really, really pushed me on to make even more videos and better videos. Always trying to increase the quality of them.